When I was younger, the Disney Channel was always a place where I could watch content in peace, without the worry of seeing a scary trailer, movie, or show. But as we know, there was always that one episode of a show that was way scarier than it needed to be. You think you're watching a normal episode of Hannah Montana or That's So Raven, and next thing you know you're spooked looking around your room to make sure no one's there, over a Disney Channel show. But the one Disney Channel episode that I've always thought was by far the scariest was Season 1, Episode 19 of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, The Ghost in Sweet 613. And I kind of want to know how it holds up today. So let's talk about the scariest episode from a Disney Channel show that I've ever seen. So if you've never seen The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, it's pretty much about twin brothers who cause a bunch of chaos at this hotel called The Tipton. And that's basically all you need to know. So the episode starts when we got this filthy ass living room. Zack plays a little prank on Cody and wow, this is so 2005. I feel like I usually don't go back and watch sitcoms from my childhood because it usually ruins my nostalgia for them. Like there's literally a laugh track in this show like every 10 seconds. Why are you cleaning the carpet with your brother's face? <laughs> Although if it gets the stain out. <laughs> <laughs> but this theme song is still legendary. So Zach, Cody, Maddie, and London are chilling in the lobby when London mentions that she saw a ghost in suite 613 of the hotel, which caused her to drop her purse with $1,000 in it. So everyone runs upstairs to try to get the cash, not really caring about the ghost. Now the backstory of this ghost is that there was a woman named Irene that checked into the hotel a long ass time ago with her husband for their honeymoon. But her husband left for war the next day and just never came back. That man got drafted and just disappeared because apparently he fell in love with a nice Italian girl and opened up a pizza spot. And obviously Irene was pretty upset about this, so she threw a brush at a mirror and somehow got killed by a shard of glass. So yeah, L death. So they get to the room and immediately the supernatural fuckery begins. The wind opened it up. Then we see a picture of Irene, which creeped me out so much as a kid, and honestly is still pretty creepy today. There's just something about portraits like this that's so unsettling to me. If this is in my hotel room, I'm taking that shit down. Simple. But I will say the tone of this episode is definitely a lot more goofy than I remember. Right as there's a little bit of tension being built up, it just gets interrupted by a joke and fake laughs from the live audience. Which I guess makes sense because it's a Disney Channel sitcom from the mid 2000s. I just remembered it being a little more serious. Check out the broken mirror. Check out the gargoyles. Check out of this room. <laughs> Anyways, then the goaded Mr. Mosby comes in and talks about the time he encountered the ghost Irene. And we get this goofy ass flashback. Come on, bro. Fortunately, my voluminous fro saved me from a concussion. These are the writers of the show, by the way. So we fast forward and Zach is making Cody feel like a little puss boy for getting scared so easily. So you're gonna spend the night finger painting with mommy? Finger popping each other's assholes. Zach then bets Cody $5 that he won't stay the night in the haunted room and Cody agrees to it. Side note, this 2005 CGI is crazy. <laughs> So they go to the room with Maddie, London, and goaded Esteban. Then Arwen the engineer pulls up with his ghost detector, and of course it starts going crazy when he points it at the picture of Irene, which is when we get this moment. And honestly, for a Disney Channel show in 2005, I feel like this is a pretty good scare. It kind of reminds me of that one scene from Sinister, and the fact that I'm comparing this to a Sinister scene is crazy. Obviously, it's not going to hit the same as it used to, but this picture is creepy as hell. So Arwen gets scared and dips, and Esteban is like, we've got to help the ghost cross over to a better place. I meant we must help the poor tormented ghost cross over to a better place. Bro, what are you talking about? Man is trying to help this random ghost out of the kindness of his heart. After he saw that shit do this. What? You are not getting paid enough for this. Then he's just like, I know how to contact the spirit realm. Shall we begin? How do you know how to do that? What are you doing when you're not at the Tipton? I know his search history is crazy. And then everyone else just sits at the table and goes along with it. They really let this man cook for no reason. And this is when we get to what I used to think was the creepiest part of the episode. So Esteban puts a wrap on his head and starts trying to talk to the ghost. And I mean, this definitely has the potential to be pretty creepy even today, but it's just so unserious. Which once again makes sense because it's the Disney Channel. I honestly just didn't remember this much fake laughter being in it. 
Like Esteban tries to talk to the ghost in this weird voice and straight up gets possessed, but it's all just kind of played up as a joke. And every 10 seconds, one of the characters has to say something corny because it's a 2005 Disney Channel sitcom. Ghosty. If I may call you that. <laughs> Spirit, hear me. I'm calling you. What's going on? I am on hold. <laughs> I can't lie, this is kind of hilarious though. Like, why is he spazzing like that? Then the ghost starts talking through Esteban, which once again could be creepy, but there's a laugh track after like everything she says. So it's hard for the tone to not be goofy, which is probably what they were going for. Who dares to call me in the afterlife? <laughs> and I think that's one of the big reasons why this episode isn't as creepy as I remember. Aside from me just being way older, of course. I know I keep mentioning this, but the laugh track makes this such an unscary, scary episode, if that makes sense. Like, if you were to take away the laugh track, it wouldn't become scary or anything, but I definitely think the tone would change. She's here. Who dares to call me in the afterlife? Yeah, I don't know. So pretty much this ghost is forever pissed off because her husband left her to start up that pizza shop. Then randomly London is like, does anyone smell pizza? Which triggers the ghost and she gives this sinister ass smile and then just starts making people disappear. Which is funny because they literally just get pulled into the darkness and just vanish. Like they deadass just got hit with the crossfade transition. So then Zach is the last one left and Irene is just wilding at this point. Say adios amigo. The fact that this woman just said this while possessing Esteban is insane. Then the room just turns into a haunted house, and we find out that all this was just set up to prank Zack as payback for the times he pranked everyone else. And Cody is just like, ha, pussy. Then at the end of the episode, when the brothers go back to get Cody's blanket that he left in the room, the ghost just comes out in human form to give it to them. Because I guess Esteban was actually able to get her to a better place, and she's nice now. Then she just hops back into her portrait. And that is the scariest episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I think what made this episode so creepy when I was younger is that I just never expected a Disney Channel show to have horror elements like this. And nostalgia definitely caused me to remember it being a lot creepier than it actually is. And also, laugh tracks are like terrible now. There's definitely some creepy-ish moments, but for the most part, it's a pretty goofy episode. But let me know how you think this episode holds up now, your favorite episode from the show in general, and I'll catch you in the next one. No brother clucking.